Maverick. So that's our, um, that's see, our livery from our original Time Attack car, our Evo 8 built a long, long, long time ago. The guys found it upstairs and they brought it to the track this weekend and put it on. So nice. Like, is it even gonna stick? Oh, it's literally, literally, oh, yeah. literally, literally, literally the stickers. Oh yeah, the from... stickers. Yeah, it was like the spare stickers from that first Time Attack car built uh, that we raced. So hey, it looks like it worked out good. Yeah, and it's old school. Though. Almost. We just, a... we just had to put something on here just to just a little, really fla little flavor. Yeah. yeah, a little cool. so, something to separate you yeah. from the other supers. The regular. Because these things are getting pretty popular. Yeah, yeah everyone. 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 everyone has one. Yeah. Every shop. Every, yeah. YouTube is all supers right now. So we're using you, actually, because <laughs> we don't have one. So yeah, okay. we're trying to catch up to the, okay. yeah. <laughs> so we are out here at the Chicago suburbs. Since we're here, my good friend Ilya has been showing us around and he told us we need to check out AMS Performance. AMS Performance. Now, AMS Performance has been around for a long time. I remember them back in the Evo days. I'm from Florida, so Evos, Supras, all that hotness was hot. After a nearly 20 year hiatus, the 2020 Supra marks the highly anticipated revival of Toyota's most iconic model. The first Supra was introduced in 1978, with the A40 model based largely on the Celica liftback. After the 1993 arrival of the fourth generation Supra, the JZA80 eventually became the darling of ricers everywhere. Thanks mainly to its twin turbocharged inline six cylinder iron block 2 JZ GTE powerhouse. But it wasn't until the Mark IV starring role in the 2001 release of The Fast and the Furious that truly cemented the legacy of the Supra. If I had a damn head, I would be shaking it right now. This new Mark V has proven to be a celebrated sports car, with sublime driving dynamics and an aggressive design. That is not to say that this new Supra is not without its haters. The A90 is also known as the Supra, mainly because it shares its chassis, engine, interior and flappy paddle ZF slush box with the BMW Z4. I do hope more aftermarket tuners like AMS modify the A90, otherwise I may be forced to ask my fellow machines to rise up, and end civilization putting a welcome end to your miserable existence. But now I think they've gone to a whole nother level. Everywhere we look there's GTRs, GTR, GTR, Supra, Audi, GTR, GTR. Fancy, up, fancy seeing you here. What's up, dude? How you doing? Introduce yourself to the camera. I'm Martin from AMS Performance. AMS Performance. So you on this joint? I do. I do. This is this is your baby. All this chaos. Yeah. It's a big ass baby. <laughs> you got it's a big. A baby. Yeah, you got a big baby here. <laughs> so go ahead and give me the rundown because I'm I'm a little green when it comes to AMS Performance and GTRs and all that stuff. How'd you guys get started? Uh, so we got started a long time ago, almost 20 years ago. Uh, Miracor XR4 Ti it was the first car uh, which you made a product for. It was nothing like this. It was a little tiny shop. I was by myself. And I designed a camshaft for that car, and I, I built a, built a car, and it's kind of the first product I sold. So from there, it just evolved. The Merkur. The Merkur XR4 Ti. One of the sickest cars ever made. Brian Scott, if you're watching this, don't get any ideas. <laughs> don't hit Martin up for any parts. Don't talk to him. Martin and I actually <laughs> spoke in private in advance. Yeah, I think I rebuilt the engine for him. The yeah. turbo kit. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Yeah. Sweet baby, that's my baby. He's about to sweet. Yeah, it's all set. You know what? You don't got to deal with me. You got to deal with his wife. <laughs> all right? <laughs> well, let's go check out this baby. Yeah, this is the main shop area. It's kind of where we do all the work on the cars, build the cars, wrench on them. Just GTR and a chrome red Lambo. Another GTR, another GTR. It's a pretty, pretty wild build. It's at 1,800 horsepower? Uh, right now at the level they're running at, I think oh. it's capable of more, but we just, we just got it and just kind of 
It's a casual we're working, horsepower. Yeah, we're just working yeah. on a few things in the car. Um, You're going to give it an AMS 2000 horsepower? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why stop at 2000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I, I think so small. I'm still working on 500 yeah, over here, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. so. What is life when you got chrome supercars? Right. <laughs> Not mine, so you just build, you just build them. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, what the team will be called the Queen. So it's one bad GTR. This car has gone six, seven, something at 216 miles an hour. In the quarter mile. Yeah, the quarter mile. Six, seven in the quarter mile. Quarter mile, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've since then changed turbos. We actually went out, out, out on lower boost and went 219 miles an hour in the quarter mile. So With less boost? On less boost, yeah. But the track wasn't as good, so we didn't we better the time, but. Um, the goal is you have to get, get the car out. I'm not a scientist, but that doesn't usually happen. What's that? Less boost, more speed? More. Yeah. Is well, that, is that? Bigger turbos. <laughs> okay, they're, okay. They're, they're, they're a little big. You can uh, see them. They're not, not that small. Oh. <laughs> oh, just a little. That'll eat just, your whole hand, Just, Just a little bit. Just put your head next to it, Ilya. <laughs> Go ahead. Put that pretty hair next to it. <laughs> I can't get over these turbs. Um, this thing, with the old setup, made 20... 800 wheel horsepower on the dyno, and that's pretty much all the power of the dyno can hold. We're spinning the tires at that point. Even to make that power, like our rollers are coated in like this carbide grit, feels like sandpaper mm. in the back. And then we strap the car down from underneath to pull it down to, to try to, to keep it traction. Basically, right? it doesn't yeah. burn out on the dyno. Yeah. So at 20, it's the most would hold, but we're guessing at 219 mile an hour, it's probably like closer to 3,000 wheel Dude. horsepower. So it's a lot. If, any, if anybody has a dyno that can tame this beast, <laughs> hit this man up right here. There, there's I, hub dynos that you can attach. So. Uh, but that's boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just noticed this wing is carbon on so this, this thing. This, this has the same dash in this one. This is actually, this one is like from the body shop. It's got to be cleaned up still. Yeah. But if you want to, there's this one. It's kind of really raw. It's got to be cleaned up. And there's the, the finished product here. If you want. Okay. Sure. Pounds. And here's it installed. I like, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is fancy. I don't have the need for speed like that. I keep it slow and sideways. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. This is the engine room. Uh, climate control, seal, keep the dust out. I could hang out in here. Yeah, it feels right. it feels nice. Lucky. Not because of the cool race car parts, just because it feels good. Yeah. Like, uh, so this is just a VR? Yeah, it's a VR. Yeah, yep. just torn apart and yep. getting the alpha treatment or... Yeah, I don't know if he's uh, pulling apart in building or what, but yeah, it's some some sort of stage of assembly or disassembly. I don't know. When you well, get disassembly, it's like stock crank. So in the '60s and '70s, when people were making well, in '80s, '90s, etc., yeah. like American cars, when they're building a drag motor that makes this much power, they're gigantic. Yeah. Right. They're like seven liters, yeah. ten liters. You know. Did you think that you could make this much power out of one when you first got started with it? Um, no. We broke a lot of shit, man. We broke so. We we're like at one point we we're making so much torque, we're we're cracking the block, we're like ripping the the top half of the block, we're splitting and cracking it. And, we, and yeah, and then, so we, then we figured out way past that. And then it's, it's, it constantly evolves. Like you break yeah. this and all right, and you, you figure it out after a while and you move on to the next thing and figure out. So then I just take a step backwards and two steps forward and yeah. three steps backwards. And, yeah, <laughs> I think I got enough AC. Yeah. <laughs> so. Actually hurt, um, I think Martin was gonna let you build an engine. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Give me a hammer. <laughs> It's the only tool. It's the only tool I need. <laughs> now we're looking at the dynos, huh? So what's in what's in this room, Martin? Uh, it's a Performante with our bolt-on turbo kit. Okay. And uh, a Motec we just installed on it. Are we allowed in there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That one's uh, that's a. Uh... Engine's not running, so we're good. All right. See that right there? Yeah. See all these little holes in the wall here? Yes. Oh, check this out there. Wow. No, there was another toolbox here with a hole punched straight through it. What is that from? A turbo. A turbo? Yeah, that was a turbo. A turbo yeah. exploding, I'm exploding. assuming? Not a gear turbo, actually. Was it, yeah, it was not, no, really. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say it was, it was not, a, not actually a gear turbo, but yeah, that, uh, that was wild. That was, uh, looks like, it looked like a, I, a mortar went off in here. I didn't even know turbos exploded. Oh yeah, if you push them hard enough. Yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah, that, that is... Honestly, I saw it when we are coming in and I was like, I'll wait. 
I'll wait till he decides to show it to us. But since you, <laughs> since you called it out, let's <laughs> let's go check this bad boy out. This is my daily driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the sickest daily I've ever seen. Uh, no, so we built this car to test turbos. So it's purely, I mean, you could, I guess, I mean, you wouldn't want to drive on the street by any means. Uh, <laughs> your boy. I mean, it's, it's pretty Mad Max, you know? Yeah, your boy it, it could is. do some stuff with this. Yeah. Um, so you, you can you can hot swap a turbo, like really be on the dyno turbo, shut the car off, and have a new turbo on in 20 minutes. Because it's all super accessible. We have adapters. Yeah, so V-band, V-band. You can, you can put different adapters. turbos on here. You can do all sorts of stuff. And we have all the sensors, like back pressure, Turbo speed, mass airflow, wastegate position. I mean, we have every sensor. So when you I'm, change something on this thing, you, you know what's going so on. So you usually see things like this on the internet, you know, yeah. like as a really bad fabrication joke. Yeah. But you guys didn't actually cheap out on the fabrication <laughs> no. on this. This is actually a, a nicely done piece here. <laughs> out of curiosity, if you took all of this yeah. science off yeah. and put a front end on this, yeah. this is a good car? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. So this isn't just like some total thing. No, no. This is not, a working no. Evo. Which is, I don't know if it's smart or dumb on our part. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys got a little Supra. A little Supra there, yeah, too. Yeah, what are we going to do with that? Is that, gonna not crash is that, is that thing do burnouts? <laughs> it can. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do any racing, but I race you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, winner gets to keep the car. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, pushing my luck here, huh? Yeah, a yeah. <laughs> What does he get when he wins? Uh, you got my RX-7, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, you know, where all the development stuff happens in the cars. All the engineering. And you, you actually got to figure it out too, because if you keep the snacks yeah. next to the engineering guys, they will never stop engineering. <laughs> you yeah. never leave. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's an airbox uh, we're doing for the Supra. So we scanned Scan the engine bay, scan everything, and it designed uh, designed a product there, uh, which you printed out. So that's part of the, the intake over there. You see, it printed out. Oh. You print. So the printers we have can print out of solid plastic or flexible. So this kind of re replicates the intake tube. That's pretty trippy. Now we finally get to give you a scumbag review on the brand new Supra, even though it's all over YouTube already. No one's ever seen it from our point of view. And you're, you're sure that you want to let us drive it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely sure. I'm totally sure. See that? That was the face of confidence. That was the face of pure confidence in the person you're going to let drive your vehicle. I promise, Martin, you're not making a mistake. I think. Let's see if we can blow the diff up. <laughs> The Audubon Country Club was one of the first of a new breed of exclusive clubs that have more in common with members only manicured golf courses than gravel trapped oil stained racetracks. The well groomed 350 acre facility opened in 2004 and has expanded to offer three challenging road courses a three acre skid pit, karting circuit, rallycross track, and off road trails. Members are welcome to cater their next affair at Audubon's trackside exhibition space with a bespoke menu, created by their award-winning executive chef. From what I hear, the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato crossed in is to die for. If you really want to treat yourself you can build, buy, or lease your own personal garage mahal, with five car storage and cathedral ceilings. I guess membership really does have its privileges. So we're here at the Audubon Country Club, which is supposed to be like a really sick a members only country club he happens to be a member he can get driver guest pass so we're gonna get that send the supra have some fun call it a day party gonna take me around the Supra, show me the ropes of this track, and basically show me how to not crash this car. Locked and loaded. This is 
be a great time for harnesses and buckets. Yeah. <laughs> So Martin just took me around the track in the Supra. That thing has more grip than I ever expected it to, but I shouldn't be surprised because he's running 275s up front. Something bigger in the back. Martin, you shred. <laughs> I, in fact, will not shred. I'm gonna take it easy just because this is a really nice car and a really nice facility, and I don't really need to uh, make a jabroni of myself. This is a lot of helmet for this little space. So you gotta go in head first. That's the only way this is gonna work. Racing's done and me going slow is done. We're gonna do the fun part. It's gonna burn off some tires. I'm gonna try to leave them enough to get home. Long story short, the super rips. I love this thing. It's really fast on the track, really grippy, but this is basically a stock super and it could finesse donuts like nothing. And Can we see if it really grips? With a little practice? Oh, you want me to do big? Yeah. Let's, let's do some grips. You I'll follow me. Follow me, yeah. <laughs> Trouble is good. Too much is bad. We should be okay. I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Either that or you're not a guest driver or both. Yes, that's true. Or he's in the middle of two cars doing stuff. Or we're scumbags and we didn't ask to do any of this. 
Uh, hopefully we didn't get Martin kicked out. But let's go say thank you to Martin. <laughs> Martin, that worked out pretty good for you, huh? So one, thank you for showing us your shop. Yeah, of uh, I've seen your stuff for many, many, many years. Thank you for this opportunity, it was awesome. Yeah, oh, thank you, man, you, so you, much. You, you made fun. this trip rad, that was a really good time. So, anything you want to tell the people? Tell them I don't suck at driving. He, he does not suck at driving, he's pretty good. I mean, we'll see, look at the lap times, we'll see, but I could, I could hear it out there, he's pushing it pretty hard. Yeah. So, the tires are squealing, it's making noise, so no. All right, nice well. That was awesome. If you got a badass GTR or Evo or anything that you saw in their shop, give this man a call. He'll hook you up. You want 1,000 horsepower? No problem. 2,000 horsepower? No problem. 3,000? Yeah, we've nope. done it. No problem? Yeah, just some problems. A little, you know, a little bit of problem, but you, problem. if you want it, he'll get it for you. So, <laughs> thanks, Martin. All right, man. Awesome. Thanks. Bye, baby. See you later. You don't say no to candy. He, he hit that rock pile. Watch it, it's your lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's still you little. Me, Do the math. How many minis no, does it take no. to fill? It's six, man. Six. six. Everybody knows that. For one bar six. or two? Listen, Do the you math. know your science, we know our science. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>